Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's Barry. <laughs> well, hello, hello, Helen. I assured it's amazing to see you. I've been a massive fan of you in EastEnders, so it's wonderful to see you now. How are you? Yeah, good. Great to speak to you. All good. Now, I hear you are taking the festival scene by storm. I've not seen you do this. Tell me what's happening. So uh, we had an idea to do something called Barry Oki. This was before lockdown. So uh, basically what it is, I basically I call it a, a concert with 30 guest artists because people come up and I duet with every one of them. You see, I, I don't they don't sing on their own. I duet with them. So we started off doing festivals um, just before lockdown. It went down really well. And then obviously COVID happened. And then when it reopened, my partner in it, Noel, uh, Noel Cornford, um, he had the idea of going into music clubs as well. So he went into some re really cool music clubs, you know, places where like Oasis and wow. and, and Jamiroquai cut their teeth and things like that. And, and we started selling them out. I mean, I, I think it was just an appetite for people to get back out there, you know, and, and have a good time after COVID, to be honest. But it's just kept going. I don't know, you know, and, and, and festivals are great as well because, um, you know, people go to festivals to, to let their hair down. So, yeah, it's become a bit of a hit. Such a fantastic idea. But can you sing? Are you a singer? Yeah, I started off as one. I I, I was a, a Pontins blue coat on the Isle of Wight with Shane Ritchie back in 1986. Oh, yeah, that's that's amazing. Singing. And I cut my teeth singing on karaoke when it first came into the country in the sort of mid 80s. Um, wow. So I, I was a karaoke kid, really. So when you're on stage and it's called Barryoke, are you on stage as Barry or are you on stage as Sean? It's a good point. Yeah, I pretty much uh, summon the spirit of Barry back from the dead because it, it's it's uh, it's easier to do than than, than, than go and do it. If, if you went on, most actors hate being themselves, you know. Uh, it's just one of those things. So so it's a lot easier to go on. And people want to see Barry, you know. If yeah. you called it a karaoke night with Sean Williamson, you probably wouldn't get the same response. Well, it's fantastic because I know a lot of actors say, oh, I don't want to be typecast. And, you know, you've just completely embraced it. We loved Barry. Like, back in the day, was it 20 years ago since Barry got pushed off the cliff? Yeah, I think what it was, we were lucky because at the time, there wasn't the amount of TV channels that you have at the moment. You know, uh, there was only, when we started, there was only four. So, or when I started. So, we were still getting... 12 million people on a bog standard Tuesday night. And when I got uh, pushed off a cliff, 20 million. So wow. it's sort of, and, and, and then I carried on playing the character really for Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant. So it never really went away. So you're on stage, you bring people on with you. I hear like Chris Moyles is a fan. You've got lots of other famous people that think you're amazing doing what you're doing. And um, who do you want to play with at Rewind? Who would you like to get on stage with you? Oh, whoever else. Who else is on the bill? Oh, it's an amazing lineup. You've got you've got Go West. You've got Go West to do fans. Peter and Richard. Yeah, I've worked, yeah. I've worked with them before. They're, they're oh, absolutely you? fantastic. And of course, I was I'm a fanboy because that, that was my era, the, got, the mid eighties. You've got Tapau. You've got Kim Wilde. You've got um, you've got Heaven Seventeen. There's like so I'll, many I'll people playing. I love all of them. <laughs> <laughs> We've been lucky so far. We've had Rag and Bone Man jump up in Tunbridge Wells. Um, Ollie Murs at Wembley, at uh, Box Park Wembley, not the stadium. Um, uh, Sam Bailey from the X Factor, uh, she jumped up in Leicester, you know. So we've been very lucky. Sam Fender invited me on stage at Truck Fest, so I, I, you know, I still pinch myself with really. it. So if you were back in the eighties now and you could have been a singer rather than being Barry, who, which eighties band would you have been in? Oh, probably it's got to be the Spandaus or the, yeah. or the Duran Durans, isn't it? You know what I mean? But I, I love that. I was so lucky with, with the time I was brought up in because it started off with pure disco back in the glam rock in the 70s. Then it went into disco. Then it went into two-tone and ska. Then it went into sort of, you know, uh, the, the, the Durannies and, and Spandau Ballet. And there was so much good music around for so long. It was brilliant. So, oh. yeah, it'd have to be, I think, Duran Duran as well. So you're a massive 80s fan generally. What sort of songs do you play then when you're doing your karaoke? I presume it must be karaoke side. I presume it must be 80s songs, is it? Well, it, it's a good point. Uh, um, I, I don't think people will mind if we don't stick to the 80s because if a, if a tune's a banger, it's a banger, you know. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll try and focus on the 80s. but And a lot of them are like Living on a Prayer, Never Going to Give You Up, um, you know, but... It, a great song's a great song. If it's if it's Mr. Brightside, if it's Sweet Caroline, if it's going to get people going, then we'll, we'll just do it. And that's a good note for people if they're um, if, if when you get there, people have to queue up to sign up, you know, so, so that we know we've got their name and all that. So don't don't pick something downbeat. 
the, the, don't go with the drugs don't work you know because I think this is important actually because this is I didn't really understand this so you're playing is it in Pink Flamingo tent you're play, playing in one of the tents aren't you not on the right. stage so people will come so if you come into Rewind they can come and they can sign up and say I want to do Balioki with with Bally and, yeah, and so they it, down it, yeah, exactly that. So if for argument's sake, I'm not sure yet, but let's say we're on at eight o'clock, if they get there at half seven and sign okay. up, Noel Cornford will come out in his sparkly jacket. He'll start playing a DJ set and then he'll sign people up. And uh, the, to be brutally honest, the people who put the name down for the best songs will get up. We, we don't just do that. I mean, there's, there's room for a quirky couple of songs every, every set that we've never done before. So we think, oh, yeah, we've never done that once. So there is room for that, but don't want the atmosphere to drop too much. You know, yeah. You Oh my God, it sounds amazing. If I could sing, I'd come and sign up, but that singing is not Come on, my... <laughs> come and give it a go. <laughs> Sean, I can assure you, I would be <laughs> properly bad. Um, <laughs> okay then, for anybody that's coming to Rewind, because we do all the backstage interviews at Rewind, it's such a brilliant atmosphere. Love that right. festival. But for anybody that's coming to Rewind that hasn't heard that you're going to be there, sell it to them. Okay, well, it's Barioke. It's 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 a feel good, uh, uh, fun pack party for ninety minutes. We'll keep the atmosphere going. Uh, I'll, I'll come on stage, maybe in a, in a in a wacky costume with various props and things like that, and uh, keep the banter up in between songs. So really, just come along and uh, and and don't miss out because you, you'll um, you'll be in for a treat. Oh, it sounds amazing. I'm so excited to speak to you. You're so cool. Such a fan. Can't wait to see you at Rewind. Please come backstage to the press area and come and say hello. Will do, Will do Helen. It'd be an absolute honour. Oh, Sean, thank you so much for chatting to me. Cheers, Helen. Bye. Bye.